Mr. MCP comes in with a question regarding what CPU should he buy? And this is a really good one because I have often said, go big or go home. But in this case, it's go budget or go home. Mm -hmm. He asks, I have a 7900 XTX and a 10700 CPU. He plays AAA games at 1440p ultra wide. CPU bottleneck city. Should I get the 13600K and 0% bottleneck or go with the 13700K to add a little future proofing? Buy Windows 10 Professional for $15, activate instantly online with Microsoft, and keep it forever. Don't pay full price. Get the best deal from our sponsor, URCD Keys, using our link in the video description below. Full details on how this amazing deal works at the end of the video. I do not believe that the i7-13700K is a good deal. No, you don't. You buy a 13600K or you buy a 13900K. Now, before you all run to the comment section, actually, please do it, boost engagement. Before you all run to the comment section and say, but the 13900K is just a bunch of e cores and that doesn't make any difference for gaming. In benchmarks, no, it doesn't. In the real world with a real computer, you might be surprised. And it's only going that way more because we're going to get more and more e-cores going forward. But putting that issue aside for a minute, here's the thing. An i5-13600K uh -huh. is $300. It is. An i7-13700K is $400. What do you get for that $400? Uh, a little bit faster. Two p-cores. Two p-cores. It's 16 cores versus 14 cores for 100 bucks. No deal. la de frickin' da The 13900K gets you 24 cores. That's better. Now, you might say, but, but that's, that's more money. Yeah, it's $150 more than the i7. So if you were willing to pay the 100 bucks to go from the i5 to the i7, which only adds two more cores, okay, they're P cores, fine, but you go from six to eight P cores, mm -hmm. E cores stay the same. Yep. For another $150, you go from 16 to 24. Now, yes, it is true, the extra eight cores are E cores, but I would point out those extra eight E cores are faster than an entire Ryzen 7 2700X. Mm. I do remember you saying that. They are almost as fast. They are within 90% of the performance of an entire Ryzen 7 3700X. How many times have you seen comments from people saying E-cores aren't real cores? Oh, a lot. Eight E-cores are nearly as fast as a 3700X all by itself, which means an i9-13900K has eight of the fastest gaming cores on the planet. Yep. And... Basically, a Ryzen 9 3950X 16 core chip glued onto it as a bonus. Picture that for a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're right. It's insane how much future proofing that chip has with all those E cores. But games don't use E cores. Many older games that tech reviewers benchmark do not. No. How many reviews? Ask yourself, how many reviews? I'm asking everybody who watches this, not, not just Mr. M MCP. How many times do you see people do tests and they include GTA 5, Rainbow Six Siege, Shadow of the Tomb Raider? These games are five to eight years old. Well, of course they don't use all the... Duh! You know, these things came out when two cores were an option. Four was the best that existed. Mm -hmm. Obviously, they are not going to use 16 E cores. How many of these tech reviewers... Do you see testing Hogwarts Legacy, Battlefield 2042, etc.? Not very many. Very, very few. They do use cores. In games that are still in active development, we use cores. A really good example, even though it's a 2019 game, is The Division 2. Mm -hmm. I have posted video have. of all 16 cores being completely used in The Division 2. It will use them if you've got them. 1440p with a 3090 Ti in a heavily uh, multi-combat engagement with real people, it uses all 16 cores, and it is butter, butter smooth. Now, 
If you've got a 7900 XTX, let's just be clear, that is a $1,000 video card. That's, yes it is. $550 for a 13900K should not hurt you. And with all due respect, Papa Deal says that if $550 for your CPU bothers you, you should not have bought that video card. The proper CPU is a 13900K. Or, no hate to AMD, a Ryzen 9 7900X or 7900X 3D if you prefer, they're not too much more, would also be an appropriate CPU. You're the kind of person with that video card. Let me put it this way. He's got the 10700. Yes, he does. How many people back during the 10700 thought the i5-10600 was all you need for gaming? Oh, yeah. I saw that a lot. His exact comment is, what is that again? CPU bottleneck city. I remember when that chip came out, six cores is all you need for gaming. Actually, back then, a lot of people were like, four cores is all you need for gaming. Okay. 13900K. Seriously. Now, if he had instead bought a RX 6800 for 500 bucks, if he instead had a 4060 Ti or a 4070, or 3070, mm -hmm. even a 4070 for 600 bucks, I would say a 13600K would be fine. Well, he also wants to AAA games at 1440p ultra wide. So if he gets 13900K, the, if you get the 13600K, you're just going to be going. It's $550, I know, but it's $250 more than the... And then you don't have to care. Yeah. It's 10 more cores. If you go the 13600K, it'll be the same as your 10700. Don't do it again. It will last longer. If you it will retain more value. The 13900K? Yeah. Yep. Just get a 13900K and be done with it. Don't worry about it. It'll be awesome. You'll love it. It'll last, it'll last you much longer. Thank you very much for the support and the question. Looking for a Windows 10 or 11 product key, but you don't want to spend $100 to $200 for it? Our sponsor, URCD Keys, provides discounted Windows keys at amazing prices. $15 for Windows 10 Professional, $21 for Windows 11 Professional, and just $60 for Microsoft Office 2021 Professional Plus. These product keys are the real deal. They activate directly with Microsoft Online, link to your Microsoft account, and they work forever. For Windows, you simply go to Settings, Update and Security, Activation, click Change Product Key, paste the key provided by URCD Keys, and in seconds, you're activated with Microsoft. For Office, go to setup.office.com, sign in with your Microsoft account, paste the product key provided by URCD Keys, and then download Office 2021 Pro Plus directly from Microsoft. Remember to use the discount code TD20 to save 25% off the already deeply discounted prices and support our channel at the same time. We have been using product keys from URCD Keys for almost five years now without any issues and encourage you to do so as well.